Oh my god! It's Jacob Fatu! I mean, not surprising we heard Roman Reigns earlier. Oh, oh my god, into the vending machine. Super kick! Oh my god. And ladies and gentlemen, we don't know how Kevin Owens will earn his United Nations Championship match. But Jacob Fatu taking Owens to... To the... Oh, to the hood of the car. Oh my god. No, no, oh my god. My god, vicious. Why, Jacob Fatu. Oh my. He's not done. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the mowing spike. Oh my god. Now, where is he taking him? Oh, ran face first into that trunk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, but Kevin Owens just keeps getting up for Jacob Fett too. Oh my god, he is dumbfounded. He is dumbfounded. Oh my god, right through the car window. And the bloodline. Send a message to Kevin Owens. And with that being done, Kevin Owens is left bloodied and on the floor. Question is, is what will Roman Reigns be doing to him come WrestleMania? If he does earn his way tonight. And with that said, how will he earn it? We will be seeing. But until then, we gotta get some EMTs back there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like tonight's show was just packed, especially going into WrestleMania, because this is the go-home show for Mania, and man, oh man, does everybody have their plate full, but with all that out of the way, before we get into what's to come, we have some words. From this man, the Velveteen Dream, and he he told me, you know, that after Survivor of the Sickest, he needs some chance, he needs some time to cool off. But when he comes back, he has words for Seth freaking Rollins and just everybody else. So I wonder what those words are. Could it be related to Seth Rollins' well-being? What happened to him on the night of Survival of the Sickest? Because we all remember, Seth Rollins was laid out in the back. And we don't know by who. My prediction is... You know, I mean, who else could it be that, other than the Velveteen Dream, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. With all that said, let's hear what Velveteen has to say. Okay. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Velveteen Dream just town Rollins. He's like, well, that's what you get. That's what you get for getting in the Velveteen Dream's way and Pretty Deadly's way. And next series, Pretty Deadly and the Velveteen Dream will be champions. Oh, wait, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait. It's Rollins. Oh, Velveteen Dream! Oh! Get it out of there! Oh, no, Velveteen Dream just scurrying through and to the crowd. And Rollins just has a dead stare at the Velveteen Dream. Oh, but wait, ladies and gentlemen, Seth Rollins just, just said that Stone Cold has okayed their match for WrestleMania, and it will be a no disqualification match with Pretty Deadly banned from ringside. Rollins is so ready. He's taunting Dream with the chair. But what? Wait. What? What does Dream mean by that? Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell does Velveteen Dream mean by it wasn't me? Oh! It's Sweet Will J. White! And Sweet J. White sends a message to Seth Rollins and just tells him way he's going to touch the switchblade. Well, ladies and gentlemen, holy shit! God damn! Jay White just made his debut in the series. God damn, and that match is made official for WrestleMania. Jay White versus Seth freaking Rollins. God damn, I can't believe that's going to happen this coming weekend. Oh man, oh man. With all that out of the way, how about we 
walk into our next match, which is going to be a huge opportunity for this young man, Cedric Alexander, as Kenny Omega inches closer to his match with Adam Cole. Baby! Kenny Omega, of course, returning at Survival of the Sickest during the Texas death match between Kenny Omega and Adam Cole. And Adam Cole almost had almost had Hangman Adam Page done and put away. But then this man returned, stopped Adam Cole from finishing the job and helped his buddy, Hangman Adam Page, win and redeem himself. And now the question is, is can Kenny Omega go? Or does Kenny Omega still have, still have some things that are weighing him down? Like maybe an injury from, you know, from Adam Cole. We will be seeing if Kenny can go here tonight. Or will still be hanging by a thread. Oh. And as we can see here, Kenny Omega has a bit of lower back damage. Or just lower torso damage still from that attack from Adam Cole. You know, a couple of months ago. Oh, but Omega. Oh, oh going under. Oh. Oh my god, still going. Oh. Oh, but he is he is going to the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but oh Cedric Alexander taking advantage of the injured Omega. Oh crossbody. Oh, oh, oh. oh Cedric Alexander. Oh shit. Oh face buster. Oh my god. Brutal by Cedric Alexander. Oh, Cedric shot to the face of Omega. And if Cedric wins here, god damn, you talk about ranking up. Damn. <laughs> oh, Kenny Omega trying to find himself. Remember, he has a history of burning him, but he's able to hit that V trigger. Perfectly goes for the pin. One. Oh, kick out. At one. Holy shit. Oh, knee. Oh, knee. Oh, damn. Cedric, oh, just able to roll out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, lower back. Oh, lower back. God damn, driving that knee into the lower back of Omega. That does not help Omega at all. Set off the ropes. Oh, oh shoulder tackle. Oh, Cedric, into the corner. Oh, out to the face. Omega trying to get out of it. Oh, oh, oh Cedric. Oh, oh gets drop kicked around the face. Omega going up again. Oh, but, oh, Cedric right there catching Omega. Oh, getting off of it, Omega is. Oh, boom. Oh. Can, can, can he do that? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. No, he misses. Oh, shit. Oh, Cedric. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, your clap. Oh, God. One. Two. Oh, kick out. Oh. Oh, oh man. Woo! Cedric bringing it. The Kenny showing that he can still go even with that lower torso injury. Oh. Plus, we have to factor in, you know, the sight of Kenny, too, because remember, he was thrown face first through a window. Over, under. Oh, oh, shit. Put his hand out, but Cedric just throws him into the corner. Oh, 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 crashing his back. Oh, into the corner. And kneeing him to the face. So oh, Cedric has got something planned. I wonder what, though. Oh, off the ropes again. Oh, over. Oh, oh, nope. Short tackle. Going there. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh shit. Moonsault, Springboard Moonsault, and a takedown into a very trigger. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. 
Shadrach. I don't know what Kenny's doing. Oh, shot block. But that only sets up the V trigger. And now. The one winged. Oh, oh shit! Oh, poison run up by Cedric Alexander. Oh shit! Oh, Cedric, Cedric has the advantage. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, oh brain buster to Omega. Back up and into the. Oh shit! Oh, Fisherman Buster! Will this be it for Kenny Omega? One, two! Oh, 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 kick out! Oh, Cedric Alexander. God damn, I'm going out and up. Shit, what does he have planned here? Don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Nothing! You will not escape! You cannot escape by Kenny Omega! Into the V trigger! Into a. Another V trigger! Oh my god! Oh! Oh shit! Omega! Oh! <laughs> Step up, Tope! Oh shit, into a V-Trigger! Brought him back in, and brought him back down. Oh shit, he's calling out Adam Cole! And Kenny Omega, with the one wing! Angel! One, two, three, and Kenny Omega stands tall. And goddamn, he truly showed Adam Cole that he is ready to go. Come WrestleMania. And as we see here. Kenny Omega stares towards the entranceway and points towards Adam Cole, who will stand tall come WrestleMania. Oh, oh, it's Adam Cole. Oh, and back and forth, Adam and Kenny go. Oh, and Kenny Omega. Oh, Adam Cole gets out, but Kenny Omega wants him so badly. But as we can see here, Kenny Omega plans on standing tall, and now these two just stare a hole through each other. Who will stand tall come WrestleMania? Will it be the Boom, the uh, uh, Adam Cole? who is des dead set on bringing success towards him and the Undisputed Era? Or will it be the broken Kenny, the cleaner Omega? We will see. But until then, we move on with the show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like I can't get through the show rundown tonight because John Cena is dealing with Mark Sanders, oh my god, just telling Mark, you can't see me, oh no, oh the F you through the table, and Cena gaining the advantage before their match at Wrestlemania, and man oh man, 
John Cena just accepting it here. But now with the damage done, will Mark Sanders be able to defeat a demon that has tracked him ever since last year at WrestleMania? And break the tie? Or will John Cena stand tall with his gold shovel? We will see. But until then, I think we need to run through the rest of the show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of stuff happening to begin the show. And, man, we even had the reveal of who attacked Seth Rollins. And, man, WrestleMania is setting up to be possibly one of, one of the greatest shows in the series history. But now we move on to a, another Money in the Bank qualifying match. we got to do these a lot earlier. I think we're going to be doing these either. Well, not at Survivor the Sickest, but maybe before or like immediately after. But we will qualify everybody before WrestleMania Night 1. And the upcoming match, as we saw before this match, like right before, Dominic Mysterio, or excuse me, Dominic Guerrero, always have to catch myself, doesn't care about who he's competing against, doesn't matter if they were friends with his father. He'll disrespect him, he'll do whatever it takes to qualify, to bring better things for him and his group, his new family, the Judgment Day. But this man, ladies and gentlemen, the rated R Superstar Edge will stop at nothing. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, he has been Mr. Money in the Bank before. He has cashed in before and won successfully. And you know, that's, that's really what just sparked the fire on the trail of gasoline that has been left behind the edge ever since. You know, since that cash in. Because after that, he became champion and had one of the lengthiest title reigns as WWE champion in the company's history, in WWE history. But now he's in rebirth and he plans on doing it all again here tonight or will he be successful can he perform child abuse on his friend's son we will see oh edge edge oh slap to the face Oh, and Dom dumbfounds Edge and goes outside. Oh, Dom. Oh, 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 shit. Edge getting him with the suicide dive. God damn, catching his arm on, on the post. But Edge don't care. Edge just gonna oh, qualify for the money and make him nope, have no problems with it. Oh, kick to the face. 
Oh, Dom. Going in. Dom not going out again. Dom making sure. Oh, 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 nobody there for that suicide dive. Well, oh, I'm not there for the action. Oh, catching. Uh, oh, shit. Neck breaker. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Edge just springing back up after that. Oh, discus! Heel kick. Oh, God. Ever since that surgery that brought Edge back to wrestling, you know, it just, you know, I mean, he has a he has a steel neck now. So, I mean, there's basically no doing any damage to him if he can pop up like that. Oh, shot up the face. Showing his friend's son. <laughs> Disrespect just like he did before. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god, Edge! <laughs> He's headbutting Dominic Guerrero. Oh, oh shot to the face. Oh, Dom, I'm getting out of it. Oh, Edge, dodging. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, kick to the leg. Oh shit! Oh crossface! Crossface by Dominic Mysterio. Or Guerrero, excuse me. God damn. Gotta check myself if that happens. Oh my god, with this. Edge? Edge has it. Oh man, he has it tight. Oh, wrenching on the back of the neck. This is not good for Dominic at all. This is not good for Dominic Mysterio. Guerrero, god damn it. Oh, it gets out of it. Oh, oh into the ref. Oh my god. Edge dumbfounded. The ref got sent out by that collision. Oh, right on the head of Edge. Oh my god. Brutal chair shot by Dominic Mysterio. Well, where are we going now? Oh. To the corner. Oh. 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 oh my god! Just pushing out Edge. The ref is still down. Oh, Dawn going out. Oh, drop kick by Edge! Oh. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, oh crossface! Oh, oh, oh my god, catching Dom off guard! Oh, he's tapping, but submissions do not count on the outside. Oh, he is just gonna tell. Oh man, he's showing Dom how it'll go down. Oh, he, he's telling the timekeeper and the announcer to move. And that's Edge comes. Oh my god! Oh! On the chairs! In the ring they go! Up he goes! Execution! Execution! But that's not what puts Edge's opponents away! As he finishes up with a spear! One, two, three! And the rated R Superstar stands tall and qualifies for the Money in the Bank briefcase. What Money in the Bank match? Edge just saying bring it whoever is else oh, oh it's Finn Balor <laughs> oh. back kick oh slapping jabs from the prince Finn
he got planned here. When he goes, oh, it's a oh, edge. Oh, <laughs> with a shoulder tackle. It does spin, Roma. <laughs> edge sending a message to the demon prince as he qualifies for the Money in the Bank match at Wrestlemania. But now the question is, is will Finn try to get back at Edge before the night ends? Because, from my understanding, the Prince wants to be Money in the Bank holder no matter what. We will be seeing later on. But until then, this has been the match, and we move on with the show. Can the American Nightmare do it? Can he finish the story? Come WrestleMania Moscow. He thinks he can. But certain Ring General doesn't. The Ring General plans on reigning and defending that championship forever. But Cody says the pen is in his hands. So in eight days, will Cody Rhodes be writing his signature on the back of Walter? Or will Walter? Will Walter have two places for Cody behind him on his reign to become the longest reigning undisputed champion in Rebirth history. Watch March 2nd and 3rd in Moscow to find out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just came back from, you know, the commercial, and Dominic Guerrero is still in the ring, and it looks like he has something to say to us. Ray is just trying to hold back everything from, you know, from abusing his kids, you know? Like, Ray, he told me this personally. He does not want to have to hit his son or his daughter. Wait. And fine. Fine, Ray. You're not going to do it? I'll make you that. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh no. Dominic yelling at Ray's wife and his mom and his sister. <laughs> but his dad is right there. Oh. 
Oh, into the post. Rey Mysterio just letting Dominic. Letting Dominic. Oh! Know that he will get his WrestleMania match. And Dom. Dom just oh, running away from his dad. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, Dom is on the stage. And Ray just goes over to console his wife. Oh my god. <laughs> Another WrestleMania match added. And at this point, we look to be having eight matches, ladies and gentlemen. But now the question is, is who will stand tall in this father versus son bout?
Well, ladies and gentlemen, these two respect each other enough to not, not, not catch each other off guard. But now the question is, is Becky Lynch hanging onto the man moniker way too much, way too heavily? And will she actually be able to defeat and end Rhea Ripley's championship reign and the, uh, of being the longest reigning woman's champion in Rebirth history? Or will Becky Lynch actually do it? We can only wait and see. But until then, I think it's time we move on with the show. Oh, oh of course. Of course. Raya taking advantage. Oh, but, oh, Becky! Becky right there! Oh, sweeps the leg from under Raya. Oh, shit, shot. Jake! Oh, Becky! Sending Raya into the steps! And as Becky goes along. Picks up Rhea. Oh! Gets the barricade. Oh! Oh, oh! Becky! Oh! Kick to the face by Mommy. Oh shit. Going in. Oh, going in the crowd. Oh. But Rhea forgot one thing. And that is her. Undisputed Women's Championship. But Becky going in and picking it up. Will we be seeing this scene come WrestleMania? Or, or will Rhea Ripley reap? Becky's man moniker. We will see when WrestleMania happens. But until then, we move on with the show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, god damn, Dijak just letting Keith Lee know that this isn't the past. I am hunting for the head. I'm shooting for the head. And tonight, your head will be put on a stick. This one, you know, he has beaten Dijak in the past, and if I'm not mistaken, he's above Dijak in the winning category. So maybe this will settle the score. Maybe this will, you know, prove Keith Lee is here to, you know, become champion. Because the last time we saw Keith Lee competing for a championship was against Walter at SummerSlam, like, a couple of years ago. Or maybe this will send Keith Lee back to the reading books, back to the, you know, back to the uh, table to figure out a plan. Because Dominic Dijak doesn't plan on losing here tonight. Jack, Jack, Jack. 
has so much success all over the world. Except Rebirth. Same with Keith Lee, so they're kind of in the same boat. But, at least Dijak has held a title here in Rebirth when he was a part of the House of Judgment slash the Judgment Day. Former W, the former Rebirth Tag Team Champion. The Dijak plans on shooting for the head and becoming undisputed champion here in this series. So which person will qualify for Money in the Bank? On day one of WrestleMania, will it be the Limitless One or Dijak? There we go. Oh my god! Spirit Bomb! Oh, oh, oh shit, already! One! Oh, kick out! Oh my god. Oh my god, that caught Dijak off guard. But these two know each other. So, oh! Oh, again with the Spirit Bomb! God damn. Oh, no pinfall that time. Dijak is just laid out. Oh, oh. Remember, folks, no, no. No rope right now, oh, Dijak just kicking out. And that's the thing, Dijak not kicking out at one. Just saves energy for later. Oh, shit. Oh, where are we going? Dijak throwing out Keith Lee. Oh, shit. Look at me see him. Some high flying. Oh, no. He's going up on the turnbuckle. With Keith Lee coming in. But Dijak. Oh, oh, oh close on catching him. Jack going out. Oh! 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 Drop kicking him off. God damn. Keith Lee. Oh! Shot. Oh my god. Oh! Oh shit. Combo. Brutal combo to die Jack. Oh! Oh no. Knee driver. On the mat on the outside. Keith Lee just gonna really die Jack. Really? You're, you're gonna shoot for the head? Well, you're not. You, you're missing right now as the limitless one just taunts above Dijak. Oh shit. On to the invisible wall. Oh, backbreaker. God damn, Dijak has not been able to get back on his feet after those two spirit bombs. Oh, stepping on the abdomen. The midsection of Dijak. Oh. Oh. oh, oh ooh, what, what a slap onto the barricade. Number count 20. So these two can spend all the time in the world out there. Oh, big boot. God damn. Brutal big boot. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, shit. Feast your eyes. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Dijak clearing out. Dijak. Resetting the count. Smart doing. Especially if he wants to do tons of damage to Keith Lee. Oh, shot to the gut. Oh. Oh, oh shit, oh, 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 no, no chokes on, oh, disc is Larry. Oh, Dijak has got Lee in his grasp, oh, oh, oh no, oh, Lee getting out of it. Oh, but of course, Keith Lee going in. Oh, nobody there, oh shit. Oh, but Dijak! Oh. <laughs> These two know each other so well. Dijak dodging out of the crossbody. Lee just dodging out of this suicide dive. Oh, discus. Oh, punch. But now with that announced table player, who's going to go through it? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, on the apron. Oh, Keith Lee just attempting to open up Dijak. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh, flatliner. Oh, wait until the ring we go. So I guess that announce table can wait. Oh, going for the, the spear bomb. Oh, oh, oh shit. Don't lean over. Oh, big boot. Oh shit. Trying to get over Lee, but. Oh, Lee! Gets in the way. Oh, crossbody! Oh, oh, no spare bomb. Nope. Oh! Oh, discus layer. Of course, who put up my team play? Oh, discus punch. Oh, Ty Jack rolling out. Keith Liz got something. Oh, oh shit. Sent on. God damn. Oh, Timmy Chop. Oh, headbutt. Knocks down Tom Jack. Oh. oh shit, Taint. Taint Buster into the spine. Oh, into the steps. Oh, Keith Lee. Where's Keith Lee going? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, shot to the face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Throws out the almost 300 pound Keith Lee. Oh, my God. Close on him. Oh, damn. Oh. I jack. Oh, uh, can't find what he's looking for under the ring. Oh, oh kick to the gut. Keith Lee getting out of it. Oh, oh shit, sending Die Jack in. Keith Lee is on the top boat here, ladies and gentlemen. Keith Lee not going in. Giving Die Jack some time. Oh, oh no! Him toss to the outside. <laughs> oh shit, Die Jack going up. Oh, corkscrew looks on to the back of King Boy. <laughs> oh my god, Keith Lee. Just able to rebound after stuff like that is amazing. And is why he is a future all rebirth undisputed champion. Or undisputed reverb champion. God damn, but same with Guy Jack. He's just having a rebound after anything. But Keith Lee, Keith Lee taking some time to get back in the ring. Not a wise decision, especially when you're facing a person like Guy Jack. Oh, oh, see what I mean? You take too much time, and it doesn't help you at all. It does not help you at all. Oh, crossbody! Jack has the advantage now. Taking Lee to the announce table. Oh, he's just going to break you, Keith Lee. Oh, no. Oh, choke slam. <laughs> oh, my God. Brutal choke slam by Die Jack. Ty Jack going up now. Oh shit! Keith Lee! Oh! oh, oh Spanish fly! Let's be for Ty Jack! One! Two! Oh! Kick out! Oh man, the limitless one thought he had it. Oh, Keith Lee going up now. Stay up. Oh shit! Ty Jack! Oh! Oh my god! Oh. To the top rope. One, two. Oh, kick out. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, and Keith Lee going outside. Oh 
should die, Jack. Try this. Oh, nobody there. Oh, Keith Lynn. Oh, no. Into the knee DT. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Keith Lynn spending way too much time. Taunting. Into the ring. Die, Jack. Going up again. God damn, the athleticism of these two men. Whoa, oh, dodges. Dodges Keith Lee's attack. Keith Lee on the on the upper low. On the up. Oh. Oh shit. Spirit bomb. Oh, oh god. Oh. Oh, oh. No two count. Oh my god. Die Jack saving himself. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, Die Jack is just able to get out of there like no problem. Oh, oh shit! Gut wrench! Turns him over! Into the feast! Your eyes! Oh my god, brutal from Die Jack. I'll turn him around for another feast! Your eyes! Jack going up for the moon so oh god oh Keith Lee just getting up oh shit ground zero oh my oh god damn oh cradle oh take him Die Jack! Oh, this kiss! Kick! Oh, just screaming like I will redeem myself! Face your eyes! And Die Jack with the pin! One, two, three! And Dominic Die Jack qualifies for. The money in the bank ladder match. And goddamn, ladies and gentlemen, what a what a contest! What athleticism by both these men. I mean, God, the leaping ability of both Keith Lee and Dijak speaks levels of cruiserweight. I mean, Dijak leaped to the top of. You know, the top row, and you know, Keith Lee leaped to the second and hit a Spanish fly. But as we can see here, Dijak redeeming himself after being on the losing end of the win loss ratio. But Dominic Dijak is now in the money in the bank match at WrestleMania. We have a couple more qualifiers to go. Jesus Christ, if this guy is in a force to be reckoned with in that match, I don't know who else will be. But with all that said, how about we move to the back? Can the American Nightmare do it? Can he finish the story? Come, WrestleMania Moscow. He thinks he can. But... A certain Ring General doesn't. The Ring General plans on reigning and defending that championship forever. But Cody says the pen is in his hands. So in eight days, will Cody Rhodes be writing his signature on the back of Walter? Oh, Walter. Will Walter have two places for Cody behind him on his reign to become the longest reigning undisputed champion in Rebirth history? Watch March 2nd and 3rd in Moscow to find out.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, lots of stuff happening in the back, but also we have some words from both competitors coming up in our next Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Oh man, oh man, do we have to, you know, have these either earlier or what, because we're trying to crunch time. But Kofi Kingston with some words for Darby Allen. And he just said, that's the thing, Darby. You choose to risk it all, you choose to do these stupid stunts. But I and the new nation will see the new day. You'll just see underground if you keep taking chances like this. And, you know, we all know how Darby looks upon his wrestling style. It's very risk worthy. Very high risk. Very life threatening. But Darby just says, it's all worth it if I stand tall. It's all worth it if I can put the other man down under me. And that's why tonight, Kofi, you'll be going six feet under. But, right. I mean, we haven't seen Darby for quite a while. The last time we saw Darby on was competing in the Elimination Chamber match at Survival of the Sickest. And he took that crazy dive from the top of the pod to Cody Rhodes. But Cody Rhodes just got out of the way. Darby crashed on the chamber floor. And Cody leapt off that. And here we go. Oh, 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 shit. Jawbreaker. Oh, instant Darby. Oh, oh, shit. Showing the studying of the tapes here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Darby moving quick, but how quick can he go? Oh, regarding his injuries on his body. Oh, God. Oh, he felt all that on his chest. Now, Kofi sent him out. Kofi going to be taking some high risks. Is this a smart doing? Oh, shit. Oh, nobody there. Oh, God. That is not good for Kofi Kingston. Crashing on the mat just on the outside. Darby Allen. Oh, oh, shit. Caught by Kofi. God damn. These, these, these superstars, these athletes can just redeem themselves just like that. Oh, drop kick right to the face of Darby Allen. Oh, where are we going? Into the post. Ah, oh, damn. These stars surprise me each and every time. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Kofi. Oh, God. Attacking the damaged torso of Darby Allen. Oh, in the chair. What are we going to be seeing here, ladies and gentlemen? A, uh, a boom drop of sorts, maybe. Oh, turn it around. Kofi, trying to drag him on. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, but no, but ah, oh, Darby getting up. Kofi going, going down, going out. Oh, axe him to the back. Kofi coming back around. Oh, Darby! Oh, forearm to the face of Kofi Kingston. Oh, oh. God, Darby just going to town. Oh. oh, where are we going? Oh, into the post. Where Kofi sent Darby earlier. Doing a bit of his own medicine. Darby Allen. Oh, oh, oh Hurricane Rana. Oh, Darby. Oh! Kofi. Brutalizing himself. Coffin drop! Oh my god. Darby just taking it to Kofi. Oh! Pour him to the face to kick him down. Darby now just talking to himself like, yeah, 
Yeah, Kofi, I want to be nothing but extreme. Oh, Darby. Oh, shit. Oh, and there's Kofi. As Darby comes in, Kofi! Oh, clothesline over. Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Darby getting up. Oh, Kofi. Oh, axe handle. Brutal axe handle from Kofi Kingston. Now the kicks rolling him at him. Oh, it's a boy. Oh. Oh, shit. Rushing leg sweep. Oh, driving that back into the barricade. Now Kofi taunting Darby. He's saying, find you one, make it extreme. I got you covered. God damn, two chops by Kofi Kingston. Got the table now. Turn around. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh kick to the gut. Oh, throw it at Kofi. Oh, shit. Oh, to the post. God damn, right towards the post. Oh, Darby now. Where are we? Where, 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 what? 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 Oh, my God. Six feet under on the table frame. And Darby just telling Kofi that's what brutality feels like. 14. I don't think Darby cares about it. Darby, I'm bringing that table over. Let's go. Oh, what the face of Kofi Kingston. Darby, come back in. Resetting the count. Cody, or Kofi is dumbfounded. Kofi feeling it. The Darby feeling it, ladies and gentlemen. Throwing him into it. Now up he goes. Oh, oh, oh Darby. Making sure Kofi is just out. Darby. 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 Nobody there! Oh, oh. oh shit. Kofi. Trouble in paradise. Into the ring. Oh shit. As Darby's thrown in. Kofi just telling him, shouldn't have done that, boy. Darby says, don't tell him what to do. Bring it. Trouble in paradise. One, two, three. And Kofi does, oh, trouble in paradise. Will this be up for Darby? One. Two, and a moment of a lifetime brought to failure by Darby Allen as he just proves to want to do anything to win here in Rebirth. But as we can see here, Kofi Kingston just paying respects to like that motherfucker's crazy. But it also shows you what you shouldn't do in a high stakes match. Or in any matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Because if Darby would have played it safe, I'm pretty sure he would have been standing tall and have qualified for the Money in the bank ladder match. I'm pretty sure we'll be hearing some more words from Darby Allen later. But until then, congrats to Kofi Kingston. Good 
eye on his just research of the tapes. And will he be ready for WrestleMania and the Money in the Bank ladder match? That is something we will be seeing in time. But right now, we we'll move to the back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Cody with some words for Walter. And along with that, the two men competing in this matchup had words for each other. And it looks like John Moxley is ready to go. But will he be ready for set? Oh! It's Santos Escobar! Trying to get the upper hand on John Moxley, but Moxley is ready. Oh! Oh! oh throws him down. Oh, shit. Santos. Off the ropes. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Trying to go for the chop block, but no. Oh! Drop kick. Drop kick by Santos Escobar. Santos going up. Oh, but Mox is already there. Throwing him down. Oh shit, drop kick by Santos Escobar. Oh, clothesline over. Catching Moxley off guard. Oh, crossbody. Now, oh, into the steps. And again from the, oh shit, force been put up by John Moxley protecting his chin. Shit, throwing him off. And Santos is sent, but as we can see here, Mox is just taken the love of it. Oh, what? Who the? Oh, it's walking wild. Oh, beating down John Moxley. And remember, folks, I, I, I mean, I didn't get the chance to notify this. Oh, but there is no disqualifications in these qualifying matches. Oh. But that is right, ladies and gentlemen. There are no disqualifications here tonight in these qualifying matches. Why? Because we need competitors all back and forth into the barricade. Goddamn brutal on John Moxley. Now Joaquin Wild. Oh shit. He is getting a chair. Oh. Mox, all oh, right to the face. Oh shit, John Moxley. Oh fuck. Oh no. Pile driver on the chair. It just sends walking into the barricade. Mox paces back and forth. He just he just says, "Bring it. I'm ready." from Cruz del Toro. Oh shit, catching Mox off guard. But Cruz going up again. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Drop kick catches him. Oh, third time's a charm, but is it? Oh, nope, nope, no, it's not. It is a horrible decision by Cruz. Oh, into the barricade. No, into the barricade again. Oh, shit. Oh, no, where are we going? Where is Mox taking him? Oh, no. On the chair! Oh, my God. And now Mox... Just sends him onto the invisible wall. But then, into the post. And Cruz is just left hankering. And Mox just head backs in. And Mox is in. Santos Escobar catches him off guard with a crossbody. Oh, off the ropes. Oh, chop block. Violent chop block by Santos Escobar. With his beat. Phantom. Driver! Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen. Will this catch off guard? Ghost! Moxley, no! Pop, 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 pop. Oh my god. Oh, Santos. Oh, I think. I think I know what he's going for. Oh! But Moxley does as well. Oh, running knee right to the jaw. Discus elbow. God damn, Mox. Oh, stomp the head in. Oh, now busting the face in of Santos Escobar. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our final qualifier for the Money in the Bank match. God damn. Oh, over. Oh, under. Oh, shit. Oh, shoulder tackle by Santos. Oh, Santos trying to go for that super phantom driver. The avalanche phantom driver. Oh, but Mox ain't gonna let him. Instead, he's gonna let him get a... Baseball. Oh, super kick! Oh, blocked! Oh, of course, oh, super kick to the jaw of John Moxley. Oh, but John Moxley just pops back up. You know, that's just how we do. Oh, spear off! Oh, Moxley. God damn. Oh, Moxley. Oh, suicide dive! Oh, shit. In his sight. Oh, shit. Ah, he got away. Quick one. Quick one out that. Oh, Mox. Oh, shot to the face. Oh, boom. Shot to the face of Escobar. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, my God. Triangle. Or no, not triangle. Just an arm bar on the ropes hanging. All that weight being brought down. Oh, Mox. Like, oh, whoa, whoa. Mox wants to show what comes with attempting to jump him. Oh, oh, oh no one in there. Instead, what is there is a hungry John Moxley with a drop style pile driver. Ah, oh, damn, ladies and gentlemen, this match has been crazy. I mean, the jumps by Joaquin and. Cruz del Toro. Uh, and God damn. Oh shit. What the hell is Moxley doing? Moxley is just placing out chairs. Going up now. Zaskamar knows where he is at. Oh. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha Two chairs. Followed by Paradigm Shift! Oh my god. Brutality brought upon Escobar. And Marx just goes in for the Death Rider! <laughs> One, two, Three and John Moxley qualified for the money in the bank ladder match with nothing but brutality brought 
upon Santos Escobar and showcased to the other competitors. And John Moxley stands tall. Oh, oh, it's Finn Balor. Oh, just stomping on him, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, again to the knee. Roughing up that knee before the Money in the Bank match in a week. Oh, throwing him out. Oh, shit. Oh, catching him up. Oh, and Finn Balor, 1916 on the outside. Oh, but wait, ladies and gentlemen, there's stuff happening in the back. Oh, shit. oh Ty Jack going after Ford. Oh, big boot dodged. Oh, Montez. Oh, gets a super kick. Oh, Kofi. Oh, Kofi. Running kick. Oh, Ford with the Enziguri. And Dijak. Oh, backbreaker. That throws forward. Balor picking it up. And going up. And Balor going for it. And Finn's got it. What? It, it's Edge! Spear from the top rope! Oh my god! And Edge just yelling in the face of Balor. Off the ropes. Scare! Oh. And now throwing Balor out. Oh, and as Edge takes care of Balor. He goes up and obtains the briefcase. And Edge sends a message to the five other competitors competing in the Money in the Bank ladder match. He just caught Finn off guard because Finn thought he was too cocky. He went for the briefcase, but he did not account for this man, the rated R superstar, former Money in the Bank winner, Edge. Well, now will the rated R uh, superstar have it come full circle and him win another briefcase to potentially lead to his to another undisputed championship? Or is Finn got Edge in his scope? Is Edge acting too cocky? We can only wait and see. But until then, I think we move to the back.
and Cody just telling Walter he will not back down at Wrestlemania as he steps forward face to face with the ring general but now the question is is will Cody finish his story we can only wait and see Come WrestleMania. Oh, Walter! Oh shit! Walter! Catch it, Cody! Oh god, oh my god! Oh, brutal! Brutal takedown! Oh! Oh! The lane general turns around. Oh, Cody Cutter! Oh my god. Oh, Cody. Oh, on to the barricade. Oh, just beating up Walter. Beating down Walter. Up across the barricade. Oh my god. Those vicious shots. Straight from his daddy. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, brain buster! Where's Cody going? Oh, Cody! What the? Cody getting a sledgehammer! Oh, Cody! Oh, but Walter! Shotgun drop kick! Shotgun draw kick. Oh, oh shit. Tank bomb oh, 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 on the mat. Oh, but what the hell does. What the hell does Walter have planned now? Walter. Oh! Into the bear. Into the announce table. Screaming at Cody. Oh. Walter! Walter! Shoulder! Tank block! Through the announce table. And the ring general sends a message to the American nightmare. And goes inside to pick up his championship.